another session of Connect with Coach Mish. I'm Coach Mish, and I'm so glad you've joined me today. In our previous session, we talked about SMART goals. We talked about brainstorming. We talked about filling in the gap. So if you haven't had the opportunity to watch that segment, please do. I'll do a short recap. We basically talked about what is your dream existence. If there were no limitations, money's not an object, time is not an object, education is not an object, what is my dream existence? No limits. Write that down and then think about where you are now and what are the steps you're going to take to get there. We're going to dive into that a little deeper today as we talk about SMART goals. What I'd like for you to do is feel free throughout this session to pause the video if you want to write something down, if a thought comes to you, if you're taking notes and you want to backtrack even, rewind and see what um, you may have missed, please by all means feel free to do so. So let's talk about those SMART goals. I'm going to actually go through a list I'll share with you what it means and what your goals should look like and what the next exercise will be. So SMART goals are specific. That means that a SMART goal is clearly defined. It is the who, the what, the where, and the why, and even the which of the goal. A SMART goal is measurable. That means that it is trackable. It has a clear beginning and it has a clear end. When will the goal start? How will you know that you are on track with your goal? How will you know that you've reached your goal? Next, a SMART goal is attainable. It is a realistic goal. Ask yourself, is my goal reasonable? Is it within reach? Is my goal in line with both my vision and my mission? Is it in line with my immediate and my long-term goals? Is it relevant? A SMART goal should be connected to purpose. Does your goal serve your purpose? Does it get you closer to your vision or dream life? Does your goal blend with other goals you've set for yourself? Finally, a SMART goal is time-bound. It has a clearly defined limit. So again, ask yourself, does my goal have a clear set time frame from, for completion? It's very important to do your due diligence in analyzing your goals, assessing your goals, and making sure that they're smart. So what I'd like you to do right now is pick a goal, and I'd like for it to be a goal that you can complete fairly immediately because I want you to see your results rather quickly. Once you've done that, um, tuck that away for our next session and we'll go deeper in some long-term goals. We'll actually also talk about doing a SWOT analysis, looking at what are our strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And I'll explain what all of that means, uh, the things that may be bringing us closer to our goal or perhaps holding us back. So I hope you found tonight's session beneficial. Again, feel free to replay, pause as you're watching, and let's go to the next step in fulfilling our destiny.